G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I have here my Sony VO5850 U-Matic partially disassembled. I was um, attempting to transfer a couple of U-Matic tapes for a contact of mine and shortly after powering it up um, I heard a kabang and saw a lot of smoke coming out of the back of, of the VCR which yeah, it stressed me out pretty much because I thought, oh dear, <laughs> this machine's stuff for sure. But after after a bit of a whinge and cry, I took the machine here and disassembled it a little bit and looked at the mains power supply because I figured it would have been a blown capacitor and lo and behold, it is a blown capacitor. This uh, blown capacitor is a reefer brand, R-I-F-A, 0 0.022 microfarad, 22 nanofarad in capacitance. What I've, um, I've just Googled up, the I did a Google search on the on this capacitor and up came an interesting YouTube video made by my friend Dr. Cassette. He um, did a video on on his record player, which a couple of reefer capacitors blew up in the same fashion as mine in my pneumatic player. So, and he mentioned that these capacitors are very nasty, poorly designed caps. And which goes to prove that indeed they indeed are pretty crappy capacitors <laughs> in design. So yeah, I'll be replacing this with a capacitor of same value. Anyhow, according to his video, um, a lot of the, these capacitors are quite common in a lot of electrical appliances, I guess audio and video equipment from the 70s to 80s to perhaps 90s era. So yep, if you, apply, if you have an appliance from that era that has blown up, um, it's probably likely that you'd have a number of, um, of these little fellows inside. And which would be the culprits. So, yep, check for a blown reefer capacitor or two or three or several. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to be replacing that capacitor with this one, which is of equivalent value ray, um, 22 nanofarad rated at 400 volts. And yeah, hopefully, um, this machine should work again. Anyway, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out. G'day viewers, just a little quick video. Um, I've just replaced that faulty reefer cap, or well, blown up reefer cap, in the mains power supply of my Sony VO5850 U-Matic, and with, a, with another capacitor of equivalent value, which came from, say, a 1970s colour TV set or some, I think. Um, anyways, yep, replacing it with that cap, um, this VCR now works again, and I'm very, very happy about that. Anyway, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out. G'day viewers, Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I now have my Sony VA5850 U-Matic in operation once again after replacing that bad reefer cap and she's gone very nicely like it was before it blew up so I'm very happy about that and I can now Carry on happily transferring pneumatic tapes. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.